G'day YouTube. This is just a really, really quick video to show you how to defrag your computer or hard drive in Linux Mint 14. Now, uh, defragmentation of the drive isn't needed half as much on Linux as it is in Windows in general, just because of the file system types. But um, it is occasionally still needed, especially when you see things are starting to slow down. So the name of the program is E4 Defrag, and I'll show you that now. So open up a terminal, Control Alt T, and if you type in E4 Defrag and hit Enter, you'll see that the uh, program actually is there, the application. So it comes default with Linux Mint. So that that's really good to see. Uh, no installing required. Now, with that one, what you want to do is, for example, you want to use sudo at the beginning. I'll just clear the screen a little bit just to make it easier, maybe. So, you want to may I have root privileges to do this for it to work at least anyway. E for defrag. Now, just so you guys know, the um, the actual E4 stands for the ext4 file system that uh, Linux typically uses. Now, uh, first of all, once you've typed that in, move across and type in dash C and then the area that you want to defrag. In this case, I want to, for example, defrag the desktop. So the C uh, parameter here means account, so account of what you actually want to defrag. So you'll uh, be able to see what uh, it will defrag. Hit enter, throw in your password, and here we go. That was really quick. So the most important thing you want to see is the fragmentation score which is zero from the count that I just did and you'll see uh, zero to thirty means no problem no need to do a defrag if it's thirty one to fifty five or fifty six plus then you really do need a defrag and to do the actual defrag all you need to do is just uh, remove the C and go for a V actually no we'll do it the right way C dash V verbo, so that will print out uh, what's actually been done. So C is for count and V is for uh, verbo, so a printout of the results. And uh, that will actually go pretty quick. Although I should say that I don't believe you can actually do the count at the same time. Let's have a look. Okay, there we go. Yep, so just that's it. So I was wrong for a second there. It's just V, then it's the target directory. So we've got success 10 out of 13, failure 3 out of 13, total extents. 10 to 10 and fragmentation percentage which will usually be a bit bigger there's nothing to fragment on this computer because it's quite a new one so that's pretty much it anyway I am rambling on but uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, this was just meant to be a really quick video to show you how to do that and uh, to see if your um, computer does need to defragment all you have to do is that line for example and the directory that you want to check and that's the most important thing there the score so, cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed, sorry for rambling on, and uh, hope you have a good one, cheers. If you have enjoyed, please subscribe, thanks for your time.